Hello and welcome to the Jonas.net. My name is Donald Jonas and today I'm going to do a tutorial video on how to authenticate Ubuntu against LDAP. Um, I will be using Ubuntu 11.10 which is the 64-bit edition. The LDAP server is going to be on the Essential, the Essential small business server uh, which was uh, set up on some of the tutorial videos I have done recently on Zential. And before I get into the actual authentication of LDAP, I just wanted to mention the guest sign-on option here in Ubuntu, which I think is uh, pretty cool. This gives you the ability to create a de temporary desktop for users. The benefit to that would be like if you have a guest come over and they need to use your computer, or say a uh, family member or if you're in an office situation where um, somebody comes in you don't want to create an account for them but they need access to a computer well with this guest option it creates a desktop that is only temporary so you can leave a document on there um, and just as soon as they log off everything is deleted so no must no fuss it's just gone it's pretty cool uh, some security IT people might think it's a bit of a, you know, security risk because, you know, you're allowing uh, unauthenticated access to a PC. And as you can see, the document's gone. I guess it really boils down to your business needs. So during my tutorial video on LDAP, I'm going to show you how to remove this option just in case you do not like it. So I'm going to log in as root and begin the tutorial. First, I will need my LDAP information. And if you watch my Zential tutorial videos, that's what I'll be using to uh, authenticate against. And let me just go there and grab the LDAP information because I don't really remember it offhand. I have it listed on port 444. And we'll import the certificate. Okay, now um, we need to get the commands we need to run in order to make this uh, distribution, uh, Ubuntu, authenticate, it, authentic, authenticate against LDAP. So I'm going to go to my website here, the Jonas.net, and I put the information up on the search engine. So just type in LDAP. Yeah, I have it right here. Okay, it's really pretty simple. I'll just kind of slide this out of the way. Open up terminal. And let's begin. It's going to ask for a yes or a no. We're going to say yes. And it's going to prompt you to start configuring the LDAP. Now here we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is remove this information. I'm gonna put the IP address of my LDAP server. You could put the DNS name in, but sometimes when you know these boot up, it takes a minute for the DNS and DHCP to kick in, so it's always quicker just to use the IP address. And it listens in on port 389. And next, I'm gonna need the distinguished name, which we can get from if you're using Zential, you can grab it off your administrative page. And there it is. And just apply that. And version 3, that is correct. Uh, make Yes, we want to make an admin. Uh, no, we do not require a login for that. And we need the username and password. So here is the root DN. Okay, and the password. Always a little bit leery about pasting um, passwords because sometimes it leaves a space which is seen as an extra character so make sure this is okay see that extra space that's no good 
it would see as an extra character and it wouldn't work. Okay, we're in business. All right, let that finish up. Going to need a few more commands here. This is actually pretty quick. Uh, it's a little slow in my virtualization here because I'm running multiple virtualizations, so uh, just bear with me. You'll be happy with the result because you'll have a operating system that can authenticate against an LDAP environment, which if you watch my other tutorial videos, I'm also authenticating Windows PCs, uh, Windows 7. So you could have a mixed environment using the same sign-on, uh, Windows 7, and you could also have Ubuntu. So your users could have options to log into. So that was pretty much it. Now we got to make a directory. And this is the name of the file. I'm sorry, we got to make a file in a directory. And the directory is going to be in the Etsy, Pam Configs, Should be right in here. I'm probably looking right at it. Actually, it just dawned on me that file is going to be under user share. So let me go back. User share Pam configs. There we go. Sorry about that. Let's just create an empty document. Paste the name in there. And we just got to copy over a little bit of information, which we will grab from here. Remember, this is just a web page on my website. It's available to you. Paste it. Save. We can close out of that. And I can close out of this, too. I don't need this anymore. And we just need a couple more quick commands here. We just have to update the uh, PAM here. And on this, just say okay. I really not much to do. Now we'll restart the service. Actually, for a virtualization, it's not moving too bad. Okay. Uh, the last thing we were going to do is get out of this and log out of that. Was to get rid of that guest option. That was in the Etsy. And it's in the I believe it's the light DM folder. There we go. And light DM config. We're just going to add a quick command to this. It's just going to be allow guest equals false. That's it. If you want the guest app option back, just remove that. All right, I'm going to reboot this, and everything works right. The user I've been using for LDAP, Donald, will work. I just want to verify something here. As you can see under Home, no profiles. I feel like a magician here. All right, I want to reboot this. I will be right back. All right, all right I'm back. And here is the, uh, the guest logon is gone. And we'll use the LDAP user to authenticate. There we go. Works pretty well. So in theory, you could have a mixture of Ubuntu and Windows PCs in your domain. And you'd have no problem logging in with either using the same... Uh, Username and password. You change it on the Windows PC, it'll change in the LDAP, which means it'll change here. I uh, just want to check something real quick. I'm going to log out. Go back in as root. This is kind of cool. It now populates uh, the information it pulls from LDAP. So whatever name I put, obviously, would be placed right here. If you unplugged it from the network and rebooted it, this would disappear until it was reconnected to the network and logged back in. Then it would reappear. And let me go back in as root. 
you know, I mean, if you want to save a few bucks, if you have an environment where not everybody needs all the, like, you know, more expensive Windows software applications and um, licenses, they just need a solid operating system with a decent office suite and um, something that's just going to work well, you know, you could use Ubuntu and it would work with the same sign-on. And it's just an option. Let's just, I want to show you that profile that was created. And there's Donald. Um, you know, this new uh, interface with Ubuntu, um, this Unity, like a lot of people, I was kind of on the fence with it, but, you know, I've been using it quite a bit lately, and I can see where they were going with this. This is this is really, really nice. They did a really did a wonderful job with this. You just got to use it a little bit, and it, it's very fluid, and it works really, really well. And uh, I've come to uh, find it to be extremely efficient. I definitely give it a thumbs up. So thank you for visiting my website and watching my tutorial video on LDAP and Ubuntu uh, based on the Zential small business tutorial videos and have a nice day.